Welcome. This month, we are being invited to dance. I watch the candle flame flicker and dance in the darkened room, casting shadows on the walls and ceiling. I think of that first Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit rested upon the heads of Jesus' followers, and I imagine those flames flickering and dancing in the same way, but perhaps more brightly and more exuberantly. I remember coming across the Greek word perichoresis, which describes the mutual indwelling of the persons of the Trinity. It literally means to go or come around and conveys a beautiful sense of the three moving, circling and encompassing each other in rhythmic harmony. Perhaps the flames flickering on the heads of the disciples reflect the gracefulness of this moving together of three as one. This seems to be somewhat like a dance and my mind is drawn to how dance seems to capture so much of our connection with God, this mutual indwelling and a moving together. In God's word, it's not only people who dance as part of worship, but it seems that all of creation is part of the joyous movement and music of life. During this season of Pentecost, let's reflect on the movement of God's Holy Spirit within and among us and respond with joy to God's invitation to dance. You, Creator God, turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise in the assembly of His faithful people. Let Israel rejoice in their Maker. Let the people of Zion be glad in their King. God of creation and Lord of love, you created the cosmos, the stars and planets dancing in stellar rhythm, the grasses of the fields and the oceans moving with mesmerizing gracefulness, leaves that fall and dance and swirl in their given seasons, butterflies that flit joyously from flower to flower, and small children who dance simply because their bodies call them to move and be free. I've been dancing with Karis, my cat, lately, and noticing how much joy and energy it brings to us both. I've also noticed how movement is integral to all of life, with stars and planets spinning in space, sunlight dancing on water, leaves spiralling to the earth, and flames flickering on shadowed walls. Small children simply move to music, without ever seeming to wonder if there's a right or wrong way. Our very breath, 
breathed into us by God, is a form of rhythmic and life-giving movement. Dance seems to be both innate and ancient. From earliest times, dance of some kind has been foundational to community gatherings, to storytelling, to sharing cultural and religious experience. And there's a beautiful thread of dance throughout our scripture, and it is so often connected with promise, abundance, celebration, with victory, thanksgiving, worship, and joy. We think of Miriam, the prophet, dancing and singing, timbrel in hand, when the Israelites were delivered from the Egyptians. We think of the psalmist, rejoicing when wailing has been turned into dancing, and he has been clothed with joy. There's David, dancing with all his might as the Ark of God's Covenant returned home. David dancing, oblivious to the reaction of others. God's promises of hope and restoration for Israel were also a call to dance. Again, you will take up your timbrels and go out to dance with the joyful. Then young women will dance and be glad, young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into gladness. I will give them comfort and joy instead of sorrow. This even includes a very landscape. Isaiah said, so you'll go out in joy. You'll be led into a whole and complete life. The mountains and hills will lead the parade, bursting with song. All the trees of the forest will join the procession, exuberant with applause. Such a joy-filled cacophony. It seems that God created us to move joyously and to bring that part of ourselves into our worship. The Hebrew word for festival means to move in a circle. So it seems circle dancing was an integral part of Jewish festivals and holy days. In John 15, 11, Jesus promises our joy will be full when we are filled with his love. I love that the word for rejoice in Aramaic, Jesus' native tongue, means to dance. Scripture is full of rejoicing. I guess there's an invitation there to let our bodies move with us as we rejoice. I've also read that the word carol means to dance and chorus relates to choreo and choreograph meaning to dance together. So many of the Christmas carols and choruses that we're familiar with are based on the idea of festive dance and dancing together as we celebrate. I come back to the image of the Holy Spirit resting on the heads of the disciples in life-changing, flickering flames. This outpouring of the Holy Spirit brought joy, courage, and a vitality the followers of Jesus had never experienced. And it changed the world. For so many of us in our culture and in the church, there has been a split between body, soul and spirit. In some churches I've been part of, movement of any kind during worship was frowned upon. We often don't know what our bodies need, and we may even neglect our body as we engage in more spiritual pursuits. Yet, we are created body, soul, spirit the breath of God, the Creator, the life of Jesus and the joy of the Holy Spirit flow through our veins and impact every breath, bringing our whole selves to worship, whether in a church building, in the forest, or in our own living rooms with our cats or dogs, brings healing and wholeness to every part of ourselves. In this season of the Holy Spirit, how might God be inviting you to dance?
like David, full of joy and with all his might. Like Miriam, with timbrel and singing. Like the psalmist, clothed with joy. With the mountains, hills and trees bursting into joy and leading the way. Or with your cat, dog, budgie, in your own living room. Whatever the circumstances of your life right now and the situation we find ourselves in globally, economically and politically, may you dance and be glad, knowing your mourning has been turned into dancing and your sorrow turned into joy through the power and freedom of the indwelling Holy Spirit. We praise you, Lord. We praise you in your sanctuary. We praise you in your mighty heavens. We praise you for your acts of power. And we praise you for your surpassing greatness. We praise you with the sounding of the trumpet. We praise you with the harp and lyre. We praise you with timbrel and dancing. We praise you with the strings and pipes with the clash of cymbals, with the resounding cymbals. May you be led forth with joy and gladness, praising our God with song and with timbrel. When you are struck with grief and sorrow, may you know the one who turns that sorrow into dancing. May you know the comfort and joy of God's Spirit within you. May the life-giving breath of God, the ever-renewing life of Jesus, and the exuberant joy of the Holy Spirit flow through your veins and impact every breath. Amen. <laughs>